imagine this. It's two o'clock in the morning, you're lying in bed, and you just cannot fall asleep. You try everything and nothing works. Finally, just as you were able to catch what feels like a moment of peace, your morning alarm goes off. It's now six o'clock and a new day begins. How many people here think they would start that morning off in a good mood? Speaking for myself, I can tell you that I wouldn't. Now I want you to imagine that same situation, but this time, imagine you're pregnant. This means it's a lot harder to get comfortable and you constantly need to pee. So you don't need to be pregnant to know that no sleep plus pregnancy equals poor mood. We know that sleep problems like insomnia are linked to serious mental health concerns like depression in a pregnant population. But even with this information, Current Canadian healthcare guidelines do not include routine screening for sleep problems like insomnia in pregnancy. Hmm. But there is good news, and this is where my research comes in. We know that we can effectively treat insomnia in pregnancy using cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBTI, where studies have shown us that over 85% of pregnant women using this treatment see improvements in sleep in the postpartum period. Interestingly, CBTI also leads to improvements in postpartum depression, even though none of the content actually focuses on depression at all. And so my thesis aims to answer a question that no one has asked before, which is how is it that a therapy for insomnia can lead to improvements in postpartum depression? To answer this question, we will be testing a new model to see if improving sleep is that underlying mechanism of action that leads to improved postpartum depressive symptoms. To do this, we recruited 62 pregnant participants from maternity clinics across Alberta to compare levels of sleep and depression in women who completed CBTI to women who did not. And if we find that expected result that shows us that CBTI leads to reduced depressive symptoms through improved sleep, then this means that sleep should be a way larger focus in prenatal care. By outlining this complex relationship between sleep and depression, we can pave the way for pregnant women to have earlier access to interventions like CBTI so that they can see improvements in both sleep and depression before the baby comes. Because let's be real, you're not you when you're sleepy.